few weeks ago, we published our two-part documentary about Budvar, the historic brewery owned by the Czech people themselves. There are so many reasons why we love their beers, and we learned some really important lessons about brewing great lager. For us, uh, it took four minutes to describe the decoction, yeah. but the real time, they are four hours. Four hours yeah, of yeah. mashing and decocting. Yeah, the, wow. the, the nature is uh, a bit slower. But the biggest takeaway was how important the pour is to both the flavour and texture of craft beer, and how many different ways they can be poured. The Czechs revere their beer servers in a way no other nation does. Like serving great coffee, pouring these beers right is a genuine skill you can become an expert at. As we discovered during our exploration of Budvar cellars, we are far from experts. So while filming in the brewery's training center, we asked brand ambassador Radim to give us a lowdown on the different Czech pours, what they're for, and if Brad could have a go. Before that though, we needed something to compare these pours to. So we also asked Radim to pour a beer like most bartenders in the UK do. I know this is going to hurt you to do this, but we need to see it. We need to see what people do wrong. Hopefully, I will get my passport revoked. Ah. <laughs> so usually, it always starts. You know, you go to the outlet, you get the glass yeah. straight off the shelf. You know, I know it was yeah, straight off from the shelf. <laughs> okay, not 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 chilling, not rinsing, yeah. and then you would go to the tap and you would like you know start to pouring the beer in. Okay, and you're going whoa. up and down, up and down, and whoa, then whoa, up whoa. and down. Yeah, I've seen and this then, before. And if you if you get a if you get a really really bad like if you got lots of foam, yeah, tip it away, tip, tip it the away. foam away. And he wants foam. And uh, oh, there we go. That is a familiar sight to me. So, so one thing to look out for, obviously, you see the amount of foam, and you see how the foam like dissipates super fast. Yeah. You see those bubbles? Loads of big bubbles. Yeah. yeah. So probably the glass wasn't cleaned correctly, so you're going to have some residue fat. Okay. Uh, that, that could come even from a coffee cup. So if you're washing your glasses in the, in the dishwasher with, with the coffee cups. It's so, literally disappearing in front yeah. of my eyes. Uh, look at this. And you see those bubbles clinging on the inside of the glass? Yeah. So that's that residue fat. Doesn't mean the glass is not, you know, washed correctly. Yeah. It's not, it's just not beer clean. Got you. And that's what we're looking for. Oh, look at this, how the foam dissipates super, super fast. Yeah, there's literally, you see it. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. That's, well, yeah. that's like 30 seconds and the head is gone. By the time you get back to your table, um, sad point. And most likely, when you take this glass, you're just going to spill it yeah. as well. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's sad looking pint of beer. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> but on the other hand, yeah, yeah there's this the way that sort of we apply in Czech Republic. Show me the way. I will. <laughs> So we started with the glass. You know, could be chilled in the ice in the bath in the ice bath. Right. Bowl. Okay. Ice I bowl. like that. So this is what this is not super cold. This is not super cold. So this is around like five degrees Celsius. Right. Okay. Yeah, for, same as the beer, maybe. Same as the beer, exactly. So if I was about to take the glass mm. of the shelf, which here is around twenty degrees, and the beer at five degrees, that actually going to cause the for the foam to dissipate like, super fast. You've it's got that disappear. shock. There's exactly. a difference in yeah. temperature. It's shocking you can, you can call it a protein okay. shock. Uh, yeah. So okay. if, if I had a glass that is chilled at the same temperature as the beer, I'm going to rinse it just to make sure you're lowering the surface tension, which essentially means you've got a better control over the foam to beer ratio. Okay. Yeah. And then we go closer to the pub, to the tap, and then we starting with the foam coming out, a couple of seconds, and then opening fully and then literally creating the protective layer and then drawing the beer underneath the The nozzle the is in there the whole time. Exactly, exactly. And the practice is as well, uh, you know, people sometimes asking bags like, why would you put a spout into the beer? Well, do you drink cask ale? Yeah, I do. What do you do with cask ale? Stick it right in there, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the thing. I think there's a misconception that there's somehow it's not as clean yeah. or something. And it, 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 this actually links back yeah. to, to the beer tender. Yeah. yeah so so right. the person behind the bar is actually the person that's taking care about the cleanliness of the bar. So throughout the day, you clean the taps as well. Yeah, you yeah, flush yeah, them yeah. with a bit of water, you use a sanitizer, just like you, you would do on surfaces or when you're cleaning tables. It's the same yeah. applies to the taps. So a good beer tender should have a sense of responsibility Correct. for their taps. And also this all comes together with the training. Yeah, so okay. you want your beer tender to be trained on how to take care of the bar, how to take care of the beer, how to dispense the beer, making sure the glassware is put on, but also, you know, creates the atmosphere in the pub. Yeah. I think we've been talking for maybe 40 seconds. The head looks 
intact I, totally. I think I think if we compare it side by side, it's, it's night and day here. That's night and day. Okay, you've won me over. I've seen the magic of a beautiful Czech pour, but it doesn't end there. You've got so many different ways of pouring over here. I need to dive into all of them and learn why they're different, why you would want to have all these different pours. Show me your way. Oh, let me show you. So, there was the one step. Yeah. But actually, like, when we talk about Budvar and you want to have an amplified drinking experience, yeah. uh, you want to get, get the best out of the Budvar original and you want to get that harmony of maltiness and bitterness, we do two-step pour. Two-step pour. It's very right. simple. So again, we're starting with a glass. I mean, I love the one step, so I'm interested to see so, the difference. So the two-step pour actually reduces the amount of CO2 even more. Okay. Yeah, so it brings up the drinkability to another level. Yeah, so the same thing applies. So basically, you're starting off with a little bit of foam to the bottom. So once you get to the stage where you've got two fingers of beer and two fingers of foam, yeah. two fingers left, you let it sit on the side. Okay. Yeah, so what's happening there? So the CO2 starts to escape, but as well, uh, in the foam, there's a protein. And the protein matrix starts to thicken up. So basically, it becomes more stable and it protects the beer for longer. Right, yeah. okay. So the foam works as a cap, and as long as you get a cap on the top of the beer, the beer stays fresh. Nice. Yeah. It's, a, it's a little pillowy soft blanket exactly. that keeps the deliciousness below Correct. intact. I and it, it. if you match it with the temperature of the glass, yeah. It stays for even, even longer. longer. Even longer. So this whole Czech pour business is all about little incremental marginal changes, changes. Little marginal changes <laughs> that add up to better and better Correct. sublime drinking experiences. There you go. So after it. the 30 seconds, once CO2 started to escape, the protein makes it thickened up. You go all the way to the bottom and we just stop it up. You go all the way up and stop it. Oof. And again, and let it settle. So you see two, three, four bubbles that basically tells you that's a two-step pour, like you're still having this beautiful, silky, shiny, velvety-like foam. That's so that's the signature, those little bubbles there? Correct. Got you. Wow, okay. Yeah. So if I don't get that, I know I haven't had a two-step pour. Correct. Ah. <laughs> but look at this, you literally, you know, it's like talking about microphone when you steaming milk for a latte or cappuccino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's the same texture, same flavor sum for a beer. So this is what, to, what we want to achieve. So that's yours. Come on, look at that. <laughs> that this is like, look, look, look at the little bubble, the four, three slash four signature <laughs> bubbles. That is a tight, Mr. Whippy, beautiful, creamy head that's protecting all of this below. I can't believe how Take good this is. Take a proper sip. Man. <laughs> Come on, that's, uh, that doesn't get much better than that. That's, you know, we got uh, other types of pours as well. But what, you, more pours? More pours. <laughs> Let's go straight in. So Brett, sometimes in life, schnitt happens. T-shirts are available, <laughs> size extra small to extra, extra large. <laughs> so when schnitt happens, you need to accompany yourself with a yeah. schnitt. Nice. So schnitt itself is a undefined measure. So ah. Schnitt historically would be when the beer tender gets to work, they would, they would need to taste the beer, you know, make sure the customer gets the best drinking experience. Right. Yeah. Got but you. also what actually translated into where, where the regulars would go settle the bill at the bar. Yeah. Once the, the beer tender calculates the amount of beers they drank, they would have the last beer before they left. One for Schnitt. the road. One for the road. Nice. Yeah. So the Schnitt is fairly simple. So it, as an undefined measure, what we would like to have, or the, the golden rule, would be you would be having two fingers of beer, three fingers of foam, and one finger left. Okay. But as an undefined measure, that's the one that, you know, I'm standing whole day behind the taps. Yeah. I wanted to get refreshed. I would have a schnitt. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> so yes, Brett, there are more pours. Uh, there's a my favorite one. Go it's on. called the Mlíko. Uh-oh. Hey, Big Geeks, just a quick note to let you know that the Craft Beer Channel is powered by Patreon. Sign up for exclusive merchandise and discounts. As well as access to our amazing Discord forum full of us, amazing Beer Geeks, and of course, homebrewers. 
every one of you guys and girls out there that signs up to join our Patreon, you are helping us keep the lights on at Craft Beer Towers. You are supporting independent content. I can't make that any clearer. Absolutely, and as well as doing that, you're helping us support small and amazing craft brewers. So sign up at patreon.com slash craft beer channel or hit the links above. Cheers. Cheers. Love and beer. So, Nico, in Czech, or in English, would mean milk. And literally, you're starting again. Chill the glass, matching the temperature, rinsing it, not having no water inside. But this is the easy pour of the oil pours. Go on. Yeah. So you open in the tap just ever so slightly, and you keep on pouring. It's a but. So you're not you're not in the foam this time. You can go in the foam. You in can the go foam, above the foam. The foam. It's all make, foam. It's all foam. <laughs> <laughs> it's all foam, man. Hence why is the name milk, right? Milk. Look at that. So look at this. So you go all the way to the top. And there we go. Oh, so this. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's crazy. So what I like to call it is the British man heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the way I would describe it is basically it's like a an espresso for Italians. Right. So Czechs would have this this milk pour. You're drinking it at one go, as is the refresher. So you can you can drink that in one go. So like go. if I try and drink, I mean, there's not huge amounts of carbonation in this, but if I try and yeah. chug this in one go. I'm going to be you're, you're repeating stuff. on exactly. myself, right? So because we actually decarbonated the, the beer in the tab, yeah. yeah, there's literally no, like, next to nothing residue wow. of CO2. Okay. So hence why, so let's say it's a summer day, I'm rushing to get a tram, I want to get refreshed, you know, I don't have a time to have a two-step pour, yeah, but I have a time to have a milk. I want to refresh that. I like so it. So basically I take that, has it poured, decarbonated, and then basically I have to get it refreshed, right? Nice. <laughs> He's not messing about. He's got a trans catch. Okay, Brett. So the last one is the ultimate beer tenders test. We basically, what we're going to do, we're going to layer two beers on top of each other, create a beautiful layer. You would call that half and half? Half and half, yeah. But okay. we would call it Jezani. Jezani. If, if you can pronounce it, Again? Jezani. Well, then you're going to pour it yourself. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> the business behind it is very simple. Yeah, so we got the two beers with different final gravity, so mm -hmm. different amount of uh, residue sugar. So which means, in theory, is that you can layer it on top of them each other. So one's heavier, one's lighter. Exactly. OK. Exactly. So, in that, so we're going to take the glass, which is chilled, and this is essential. So if you get a, if you get the temperature of the glass matched to the temperature of the beer, it will not create a current and it won't mix the beer. So the temperature of the glass here is super essential. Yeah, so we're starting again. We have in the glass. It's all science, it's all precision, all the way. I love it. That's what beer means. That's it, <laughs> that's what it does. It's, it's all about care, it's beautiful. So, what we want to start with is just to have the beer not as much of the foam. So I just do this. Oof. And then we're having that one third of the glass. Yeah. Just dark lager. So the next step is we're using this looker side taps. And what we can do in there, we can play with, with the amount of foam, but we'll also play with how much or how fast the foam flows. So we're going to layer the foam on the top of the dark lager. You know the, what, what foam means? Uh, foam, foam means fun. Foam means fun. Foam means flavor. Foam means flavor, but foam means beer. Look at so that. So if I layer, if I layer the pay lager, the original, on the top of it, the, the foam will start to sort of break down into beer yeah. again. Yeah, 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 it's going to settle out. It's going to settle out. Look it's going to take four to five pours, but we're actually going to separate the layer in between, which creates the clear line in between the dark lager and the pale lager. So hang on, are you going to keep adding to this? Adding foam and foam wow. and foam again. I want to be able to see. Yeah. No, I can see it. The slight separation yeah. Yeah, in yeah, between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Look at that. If, if you had a glass that was at a room temperature, you couldn't create this. So it would basically mix the beers together. It's like when you get balsamic vinegar on olive oil. Correct. And you, they don't want to like meet. Different densities. Different densities, but you, you smash some bread in there. It's delicious, <laughs> delicious. I can tell this is going to be exceptional. So this is the ultimate beer oh, tennis test. Look at this, it's so good. <laughs> so in the meantime, 
you should follow me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to reach out for the glass for you. Rinse it. Yeah, rinse it. And let it drain out. Yeah. So before you get the glass in, you just open it fully, 90 degrees. Yeah. And then you no get foam. No foam. Just 90 degrees, you open it fully before you get it in there. Great. And you go to the glass, to the bottom, and then stop. And then on the side. Great. And now you open it, the tab just, just ever so slightly. Small amount. You, you, foam. More foam. So yeah, before yeah. you get it in there, you go open it over just a little bit. And then just slow, and then slowly, you go slow. you go all the way to the bottom, ah, okay. and you hold it there at the same position. You, you don't go into dark beer. Ah, okay, just, just hold it there. Top. Okay. And go all the way. Up. I feel like we're in Ghost. You're uh, guiding me. <laughs> it's very romantic. And, and, uh, in. <laughs> My girlfriend's going to be upset. <laughs> Are we make, making a ceramic? <laughs> Look at this! Oh go. my then, then god! Then don't let it rip back and let it settle. Look at this! Oh. Yeah. So, I feel like it's a very special experience. So, Thank for you. example, mine, yeah, that I bought before, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, already yeah. see the separation. Oh, this is amazing. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add more foam. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. So, as you can see, I'm going to slide on the side. You see, you see the, the tab? Yeah. In a way to pale beer. And then I will open it ever so slightly. You see? Oh. And just adding the foam. Wow. This is a no. This is beautiful. And then there you go. See the separation? I do. I and do. So like I see it and I love it. Through. So we're going to do it a couple of times. You can see that yours? Look at this. Wow. It's okay. <laughs> it's getting there. You might, you might get a check passport for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to let me in. So just for, for mine to finish, I'm going again just into a pale beer and then literally just topping up. Yeah, you see the foam, you've got a beautiful foam on the top, and then you get your half and half. This is, this is craft, man. There this you go. Is, uh, so this is a beautiful thing. Let's, let's do yours. We're going to do mine. Oh, so you go dear. again, yeah. you, go, you go by the, by the side of the glass, and you, then you, you see it on the side, you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you open it ever so slightly. Ever so slightly, so it's just like foam. Sorry, sorry. Oh, there you go. Yeah, hold it. Keep topping up, keep topping up, keep topping up, keep going, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and then stop and let it settle. Don't let it drip back. Don't let it drip back. There you see the second uh, pour. Signature, signature <laughs> bubble. <laughs> so once you do the third pour, only you, one you bubble. Get... Though, that means I'm not very good, probably. <laughs> You're training. I'm, I'm in training. <laughs> and then we are having two nearly identical uh, half and half pours. Look at this, <laughs> man. If that masterclass amazed you as much as it did me. Check out our full Budva extravaganza video. <laughs> Go check it out right now. Follow this link. Nice Radim, nice to have you. It's been an absolute pleasure, mate. You're a craftsman. I love it. Nice I, I might check now. <laughs> Maybe. You, you might be able to get some. Okay. At least visa. <laughs> Maybe a small visa. That's very. Nice